you guys talk a little bit about um, what your processes was like determining how many embryo embryos you transfer and things like that? <laughs> do you want to do that? That's a good question. How many embryos yeah. to transfer? That's a big controversy. Yes. Yeah. So our, our first attempt, we did the fresh transfer and uh, your suggestion was two uh, for the first attempt. Um, after getting it positive, we then found out that the uh, HCG continued to drop very rapidly. So we knew that that didn't take, and, and so we were off to our next plan. Um, I think she, for the first round, We have had, a lot of frozen embryos. I yes, think. yeah, we, yeah, we, we have, have five remaining. We had, we had, we had, we had ten, nine. did we? Nine. Nine, okay. Yeah. And we have five remaining. So she, I think, with that first round and, and that, you know, going through it and, and, and I mean it takes a lot out it's a lot oh, of yeah. emotions well, but they, they weren't going to do the fresh transfer I think it was one of those things where you look my memory of it is that I actually called and said hey how come they don't just do it sooner I was so anxious to have it done and they said well let me you know I think that they were going to take my blood and check things and things seemed to be the day fine the retrieval was Good for the yeah, uh, with with our method of freezing, we call vitrification now, which we brought. We were the first to bring that to the United States uh, in 2004. Uh, but before that, uh, with the slow freezing technique, uh, frozen transfers were not as good as fresh. There was a much lower success mm -hmm. rate. But now we freeze with impunity because vitrification doesn't hurt the embryos at all. Fresh is the same as frozen. Frozen might even be better than fresh. Really? So if your progesterone went too high, indicating your uterine lining was a little out of sync, mm -hmm. uh, or if your estrogen was too high, indicating you were at risk of hyperstimulation syndrome, then we would normally then do a, um, a uh, frozen transfer. We'd freeze them, transfer them later. Uh, I could do frozen, I'm happy to do frozen transfers on every single case. Really? We're not going to hurt anything by doing that. Yeah. Uh, but women usually want a fresh transfer. Yeah. Right, they want it now. They don't want to wait. A <laughs> I'm going to say months. that that was. I, I, honestly, like I when it when it happened, you know, we kind of grieved for a day or whatever. I think he took me to dinner and brought me a teddy bear with flowers and stuff. And then I was like, you know, this was my body saying that wasn't it wasn't the time, and I accepted it pretty quickly. And then we were just ready to do the next. Yeah, we date. we decided to give it a couple months. So she is a patient and. You know, us as a family could prepare ourselves, so we, we were given plenty of dates to uh, devise the next uh, step in our process, and yeah. and that's when we chose the beginning of May. So we took a couple months for her body to kind of get back to what it was used to, and then for her to you know kind of you know for both of us to prepare, and and we came back to see him, and we we did the second cycle, and as far as choosing the number of embryos, I mean. That, we just went off the suggestion of Dr. Silver. I mean, with the the high number of twins that run on both sides of our bloodlines, um, my grandma I don't was know if we wanted to twin. have triplets or quadruplets <laughs> with my my poor wife who's five foot two. And <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't we don't want triplets. No, no. Uh, and it's a big controversy whether we should only transfer one embryo or two embryos, and there's a lot of debate right. about that. But at least in America, the vast majority of our patients want two embryos transferred. Mm -hmm. and, and we did for success. We, we yeah. wanted to make sure that it, at least one took. So After putting one through, in and not you know, the process, having, you, just, you know, for, if it happened again, we, we wanted to make sure that there was a possibility. And I was okay with the, the thought of having two. I just. <clears throat> was it difficult, the twin pregnancy? Honestly, like, no, not for okay. me, because. Good. From from her standpoint, she did great. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, I I got into pretty good shape the year before, you know, while we were waiting and trying and everything. And the pregnancy actually went, it went pretty good. It was, there was a few things, of course, towards the end, I, I stopped working a little sooner than I thought, because I found myself I'm cleaning people's teeth and I found myself like my belly's like hitting them in the head and I'm like, well, this is awkward. Um, <laughs> I just, I mean, it is. I mean, she was, I mean, the our girls were healthy when they were born, so it was, yeah. you know, it, it was hard for her to, you know, in those last few weeks to be. Did moved. they go to term or were they, they early? Uh, 36 two. So they were, you know, three That's and a half fun. weeks early, yeah. but, you know, we, we didn't, is fun. I mean, and Dr. DeRosa being our OB, he was, you know, if, if we made it to 
34 weeks, he would be impressed. So, I mean, right, yeah. with with a twin pregnancy, it's mm -hmm. and and her stature. I, I think you know he was very impressed that she went the the length that she did. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. One nice thing about twins, and by the way, I mean, we're supposed to, from a PC point of view, uh, encourage singleton because it's an easier pregnancy. Yeah. Nice thing about twins, however, is that I, I'm sure you're discovering this, they really get to know each other and be closely <laughs> bonded. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. You know, it, <laughs> it's not the same sibling separation and, and, and rivalry you might get if they're three years apart. Yeah, because they don't like annoy each other. <laughs> He's laughing because one of our girls, um, she is already pretty, she's moving Active. around a lot. And when baby A, <laughs> Rowan, when she's playing with something and it's making noise and Lydia hears it, she's just like, oh, cool, I went in on this. <laughs> and Rowan's automatically like, nope, She'll take nope. it and then <laughs> take it halfway across the room and leave it there. But so. it's cute. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> it, it, it's good for them to have each other. Yeah, I'm so other. glad that yeah. they have each other. Yeah, the sibling, uh, the sibling relationship tends to be much closer with twins. Um, and <coughs> if five years apart, there usually isn't such uh, a difficulty uh, because that uh, uh, that five-year-old has gotten so much attention as the only child for a while. But right. uh, yeah. they're going to be more distant from each other. Than, uh, and the three years apart, they're going to fight like heck. And you don't know whether they're going to be really close or, you know, or not. Mm -hmm. Twins, uh, it's rare that they're not really close. So that's yes. an advantage. That is there. definitely yeah. an advantage. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a tricky uh, thing to go through. But the good thing for you is that after you had a failed fresh transfer, uh, we had the frozen embryos we could transfer. You didn't have to go through any more stimulation. Yeah. It was, it was, it In fact, you can have as big a family as you like. <laughs> yes, I can. I can have five more if I'd like. We have a big family. I'm scaring you now. We can get our own show. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it was, I remember that. I remember that day pretty well. I remember it being so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And, and the option to have more is it's still out there. Yes, yes. Not yet. Not yet, but yeah, you know, it's, it's an option. We had we had one woman come back at age fifty uh, with embryos that we uh, one single embryo left that we had frozen. She already had babies from what we did, but at age thirty-five, frozen, and she came back at age fifty and said, "I really want another baby." Did she do it? Yeah, she had a nice oh had a baby, gosh. no problem, uneventful pregnancy. Wow. 15 years after, later. Wow.